I'm Linda Tame, and I've enjoyed art from an early age, although it wasn't until my five children were grown and I had retired from clerical work at the hospital that I really started to take it seriously. My youngest son invited me to join him in his first year of fine arts at Brandon University. So of course that was a super delightful request and I quickly said yes and I've been there ever since. I just loved it so much. Recently, I have graduated with my fine arts degree. So while I was there, I explored many different art styles and techniques and media. But I think I finally really just settled into painting with acrylic or oil. I found this technique that I really love and it's painting on and washing off. I still like to experiment with lots of different things, but that seems to be a favorite for me. For my thesis show, I metaphorically used the pearl as a source of inspiration, and that was because of the way it's formed. An irritant like a grain of sand or an intruder like a parasite lodges between the oyster shell and flesh. And then as a result, the oyster begins to secrete a substance called nacre and layer upon layer that wraps around the irritant and produces in the end the beautiful iridescent gemstone we know as the pearl. So when I was doing preparations for my thesis show, I found myself facing some deeply emotional traumas. I began to see layer upon layer, I was kind of processing all of those emotional conflicts and grief the same way that I saw the pearl forming. And so I just adopted that idea. You don't really see pearls in the work, but you do see layers. And I think in that respect, even though this is a documentation of my own personal journey through emotional upheaval, I think because it was all produced during the pandemic, I think it's relatable to everybody because we all kind of found ourselves looking for stability and kind of groping through the fog trying to find our way. I just noticed I'm saying that in the past tense so maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we're coming through and coming to the other side where we have some more clarity. Anyway, through the process of, like I said, applying and, and washing off paint applications, I began to see these layers and they were just reflections of emotional processing and through all of that my sorrows just began to surface and so here they are expressed on canvas for this thesis show. And I'm delighted to be able to have them in the gallery and I hope that I hope that some of you that are viewing this video will be able to come into the gallery and see them, maybe relate to them in some way. I put my emotion into them and it's always interesting to see what kind of emotion the viewer takes out of them. I'm just delighted to be having this little moment to share a little bit about my work and my show with you and to say how grateful I am to Wasagaming Community Arts for inviting me to exhibit my thesis show in their gallery this summer. So I hope to see you there. Thank you.